Hey guys, it's Emmy Cream. Oh my goodness, Kim Tessio like just crashed and I was like, no, but I'm like, okay. That was... Oh. Here's the thing though. The recorder and the editing part show up as two different things on the computer. So when one fails, the other one doesn't necessarily fail too. Um, usually it's one or the other. So I was starting to start up for this episode and I was like, um, recording failed. I'm like, okay, that's cool. I just realized the Gen 1 Raichu looks like it's like a giant monster. That's just wonderful. Alright, so today's goal is to get through the end of this route. It's probably I'm gonna have because there's a lot of triggers on this route. Uh, like a lot, a lot. And of course, it's episode 25, guys! Yay! So basically, I'm hoping by the end of 26 to have the entire side done. And then, by episode 30 I want to be ready to go and do the silk go. I'm just kind of how we're rolling with it. And before I go and do self, um, I have to meet a few. Personally, I want to meet a few objectives. Um, first thing, I'm going to have this whole side done. And number two, I'm going to go and. I'm going to finish up and do all the water trainers. I'm going to heal up at Cinnabar just so I can, um, just fly there the next time. Actually, I know for a long time as a kid, I didn't know about fly. I didn't know what it did. You know, that sounds so silly. So... Oh. And so, um, yeah, that was a thing. So, I remember back when I was a kid, I saw in, um, gold and silver and crystal, in Cherry Grove, there's a little thing of water that's blocking off that tree that I like. I always thought, oh, I could probably just fly over those trees, and then I'll be able to get to them. And I was just like, oh. Oh, young Emmy, you weren't very bright, but it's okay. I don't know what this is. I have no idea. Team 20. Team 20. I think that's Rage. Oh, sweet. How did I remember that? Alrighty. So much walking. But yeah, I thought, like, fly a lot of you just get to get over things, and it was like, eh, okay, that's cool. So how are you guys doing today while you're watching this? <laughs> oh yeah, I got to tell you guys. Okay, so I was so talking to another guy. Oh, the dating guy, and he's a real sweetheart. And, uh... We have a lot in common. <sighs> like I said, I woke up recording today. We're gonna be a little bit tired. Uh, that's okay. Um, and like he liked to play games. Um, he helped me find out that a lot of games are free, which is really good. Uh, <laughs> 
so... Yeah. And, um, so we went on a date a couple days ago, and it was, like, seriously, it was wonderful. Like, I know we just went to dinner and then, like, played a, like, just played some games, but... Like, we didn't even know that, it felt like no time had passed, and like, I know our waitress was like, sorry it took so long, and then we're like, what, it did? It was, we were just like talking the whole time, and... Like, I... I enjoyed just talking to him, even, that was just wonderful. I need to get, like, a blanket situation started here, pretty soon. I don't know who you are, but... If you're not into it, then let's not do it. Here we go. A little bit more than that. As I've probably mentioned on... As I've probably mentioned on here, um... My room is the only room in the house that does not get heat. And it finally started snowing! It makes me a very ha unhappy camper. But, you know, I live in Ohio, I gotta deal with that. Eeeh! Hmm! But, yeah. Oh, yeah, so, um... Yeah, it was really great. So... I kind of have my fingers crossed that it works out. Um, he knows about Undertale so much. I really love Undertale. I love watching people play. Of course, like I said, I'm pretty broke. Why? You know, I have a few games, like hard copies. But, other than that, I really don't have very many games. Cause it might be a while before I get to console games. I need to get a better, um, a better recording headset when we do that. Just rash him. I just realized something. Um, the only way to stop a rage is if you d I guess your opponent disables it. somebody up here or something up here. I don't remember. I could also be thinking of um, Crystal. Oh, wonderful. Yay, wonderful. I don't know if there's any down here. Like I said, I haven't really played this in a long time. Well, I'm gonna dive, Jen. Get her health up. I forget how to use real fast. Oh, 
Oh yes, yeah, they're right there. Oh, that would have saved me some time, but oh. Yes, I heard, good sir. There's like five of them in this region. Perfect attack! Yay! But, oh yeah, I was gonna tell you guys about um, the teams I decided on for Gold and Silver. Oh my gosh, that this is why I don't do stuff when I'm tired. I'm still looking up. <sighs> but yeah, um, so we have the for our party in gold. We're gonna have Cyndaquil, Pidgey, Jigglypuff, Uber, Oddish, and Magnemite. And for Oddish, we're gonna evolve into Bell Awesome. I haven't done Jigglypuff in a long time. I've never done a Gen 2 Magnemite. And on um, Blue, it's my first Magnemite ever, really. So, yeah. Um, for Silver's team, we're gonna do Toadile, Hoot Hoot, Mari, Sun Kern, Vulpix, and Eevee. Alright, now this one's getting a little tricky because, first of all, Sun Kern, um, never raise one. Vulpix, never raise one. And, uh, next note, um, for Eevee, we are along into Espeon. So, um, here's the thing though, for that side, we are going to have to get a ditto. And here's how we're gonna go. We're gonna get a ditto. And we're gonna get, um, Eevee down to a lower level. Um, it really depends on what level the Sun turns at, because Sun turns and evolve into some more, you know. And when it does, they have parallels, like they will learn different attacks and such. I might try to get two sunstones so I and make sure I get a male sunburn. You know, I might do a little extra work to get a really cool sunburn. I might. I am not 100% sure yet, but I think that sounds pretty freaking good. Like I said, never raise one, but I have a lot of ideas. And for Eevee, I just need to... For Eevee, I need to have it at a lower level, so I have more of a chance to... get it to an Espeon, and let it learn, like, the Espeon attack, because I have all my Eevee's right here. Reading the fast. Because one of the biggest things too, um, let you know what I mean. I did, I did my homework, guys. I did my homework. Um, I put, I'm cooking the hot pot. It's the biggest thing. Um, so here's how it goes. For Sun Kern, it learns. Mega Drain, Sunny Day, Synthesis, Giga Drain. Um, and then for Sun Flora, it learns Razor Leaf, Sunny Day, Petal Dance, Solar Beam. But part of me wants to have that Mega Drain. And then just do Sunny Day, Petal Dance, Solar Beam. Which, that's kind of what I'm leading towards. However, um... I also am kind of like, well, if it doesn't happen, I'd rather it be like that. So, I basically had to evolve it before level 31. But then, you know, there's also the idea, do I really need to have synthesis? I mean, I mean do we really need to have sunny day? Can I replace it with synthesis? But then we also have negative. There's so many things I've been thinking about. And this is going to be a big, it's going to be a 
big upkeep kind of game where... Oh, no, no. No, come on! There you go. <laughs> I swear, every single episode that happens... Ugh. And then we have, um, like, for Vulpix, um, I'm just kind of like, I've never raised one, so I have no idea what I'm going to be doing. Um, and then, here's the thing. For, um, um, come on, up button work. So, here's the thing. With Espeon, it learns Confusion at level 16. And that's kind of become my biggest thing. I really want to have a really good EV. I think my ending move set is pretty much going to be Swift, Psybeam, Psychic, and Morning Sun. And I'll buy or um instead of I might instead of Morning Sun might do um Shadow Ball. I have not fully decided yet. But I think that would be a good idea. And then also, um, I have notes about how the... This is the biggest thing I found this darker. How they score in the bug co catching competition. Alright. So obviously, you know, you get a certain amount of... Um, there's percentages, like, and if you get, like, you get a few points for the common ones, okay amount of points for the middle tier ones, and then for, um, Scyther, um, Pinsir, Beedrill, and Butterfree, you get more points. Um, so basically, you get, for the maximum amount of HP that Pokemon has, <coughs> I need some water real fast. Oh my god, my mouth was so dry. Now it's like starting to cough. So it's four times the maximum HP, so if their max HP is 20, you get 80 points. Um, you get, um, you get all the stat numbers added together. I think that's why they showed the stats, and I didn't know that as a kid. Um, there's some really weird things, and which I don't know how you can find out these. You get plus 16 bonus points if the defense IV is odd. You get 8 bonus points if the attack IV is odd. You get 4 bonus points if special IV is odd. And you get an extra point if the speed IV is odd. Um, and then you get... You get 1 eighth of the current HP. So basically how much HP they have left rounded down. And then you get plus one point if it's holding an item. And which it doesn't seem like a lot, but... I will say this much. Every point counts, because I need to get freaking stun zones. I'm going to need one in each of my games. In which I might end up doing a sunstone bug catching compilation until I get one. I don't know what I'm going to do for sure. But I will say this much, I do know for sure, like a favorite if you enjoyed, um, subscribe, and I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about this and such on my next episode. Alright, bye guys.